point in time. At the time that you were growing up and going through all this, so was somebody else, Michael Jackson. Yeah. Tell me about Michael Jackson and your relationship with him over the years. Well, I, I, uh, I kind of protect that because we had a, a pretty special relationship. As a matter of fact, we're both the seventh child right. of, of both nine children. Wow. And uh, Amazing. same age. Yeah. Jermaine was the kind of like the other soloist. He was the middleman of, of the Jackson Five. Merrill was the middleman of the Osmonds. He was this, the other soloist. Uh, our mother's birthdays are the same day. Really? Oh, it, it goes on and on and on. The parallels are ridiculous. Tough disciplinarian father. Tough disciplinarian father. But the Mike I knew was a very kind hearted, soft spoken, loving individual. I'll never forget, I was at the old A&M Records in Los Angeles, and he had to go to a record company over to see Quincy. And uh, he needed a ride. I said, oh, I'll give you a ride. And this is just uh, before Thriller was about to come. As a matter of fact, he had a cassette. And he said, I want you to hear something, Donnie. And he played this. I said, okay, this is going to be big. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Mike, I want to be on the chart. I want to be doing that. How do I do it? And he said, you've got to change your name. Did he really? He, he said, your name is Poison. You've got your image has got to change. How long did you stay in touch with Michael? Till the end. Really? Well, about a year till the end. I'll, I'm going to tell you a story. Now that he's gone, um, I can disclose this. Um, he called me about maybe a year before he died. And uh, I was on the road somewhere. I can't remember where I was. And the phone rings. It's, Donnie? It's, Mike, is that you? Hi, Donnie. You know, his sweet little voice. I said, where are you? He says, I can't tell you. I said, Mike, hey, you're talking to me. Come on, where are you? He says, I'm in Phoenix. Um, please don't tell anybody where I'm at, because I just had to get away. He, he rented this, uh, I guess, this custom motor home, this bus, put his kids in it, went to somewhere in Phoenix just to hide, to get away. I said, Mike, do me a favor. Get in that bus. Drive up to Utah. Come to my house. Nobody will know you're here. Kids can go swimming in the backyard, play with my kids, and you'll feel what normalcy feels like, because I found it. He said, okay, and he never took me up on the offer. That was the last time I talked to him. I couldn't wrap my arms around it. We lost a genius, and the business took him. It's a tough business, yeah. and one thing's for sure, it's not been an easy ride for you. Let's take a look at this.